Heart freezers pulling for that young guy to win. Anyway, for that young family with five kids, four of them quads, I'm sure they'll have no problem spending that $125,000. Good for them. <laughs> but we still have eight more contestants ready to go, so here's the next fastest finger question. Put these films about pets in order of their theatrical debut, starting with the earliest. Babe, Pig in the City, Willard, Gremlins, Bringing Up Babe. Hey, pet lovers, time is up. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the earliest film, Bringing Up Baby. Then Willard, Gremlins, and Babe, Pig in the City. Let's see who did it in the fastest time. Leslie Silver. Leslie, congratulations. That's terrific. Want to win a million dollars? Oh, yeah. yeah Leslie's going for it when we come back. Every episode. Try this. Get started at Angie.com today. Leslie Silva, West Diana Sport, Massachusetts, in the hot seat right now. Actually, she's been here before because your mother was a contestant, huh? Yes, she was. W when was that? Uh, approximately two months ago. Did she get in the hot seat? No, she did not. Didn't make it in there. No. Yeah. But you came with her, so you got a feeling for the whole thing. Yes, I did. Now I'm here upholding the family name. But your sister has joined you, huh? Yes. And she's a, uh, an officer in an internet company? Yes. COO? Yes. What does COO mean? Coo, Chief Operating Officer. Oh, excuse us. <laughs> That's Stacy Silva. So this is a family of uh, astute women. Good for you. All right, Leslie, glad you're here. You know the rules. Yes. You know about the lifelines. Yes. Ready? Let's Sorry. play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Here we go. For $100, an ad campaign by Levi Strauss helped make what workplace dress code popular. No tie Mondays, sneaker Thursdays, casual Fridays, pantless Tuesdays. <laughs> Let's see. Casual Friday. Yes, it's Casual Friday. That's uh, the day. $200. In a popular expression, a clumsy person is compared to what animal in a china shop? A bull, gorilla, swan, wookie. That would be a bull. Yes, it's the bull in a china shop. $300. What does the letter C stand for in the electronic device abbreviation VCR? Color, copying, cassette, can't be programmed. <laughs> I'm going to go with C cassette. Sure, it's the cassette you won three hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars, here it is. In his 1977 hit, Randy Newman claimed that what group had no reason to live? The lonely, short people, mean people, in-laws. Big hit for him. I'm gonna go with B, short people. That's who Randy said, short people. Here it is for a thousand. In which month has the Super Bowl always been played? December, January, February, March. I can't believe this is going to be on national TV. I'm going to pull the audience. Sure, everybody pulls the audience once in a while. Hey, audience, Leslie needs your help here. On your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, please vote now. <laughs> you and your sister are the only ones who didn't know. 95% of the audience. Okay, I think maybe it might be B. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to make that your final answer, yes. little girl? Yes, please. <laughs> You're right for a thousand dollars. Thank you, audience.
Well, that sound means that we're out of time for tonight, but Leslie will be back here Sunday night. Because uh, starting tomorrow night and for the next four nights, we have our celebrity shows with special guest stars from all over the country. And here they are. Queen Latifah, Lance Bass, Ray Romano, Kathy Lee Gifford, Dana Carvey, Rosie O'Donnell, Drew Carey, David Jacoby, Vanessa L. Williams, and Emeril Lagasse. homophone. Confident? Confident. Final answer? Yes. Just won $2,000. $4,000. Here it is. What classic sci-fi film introduced the slogan, in space no one can hear you scream? Forbidden Planet? Alien? 2001 A Space Odyssey? Species. Have you seen all of these movies? In fact, I've seen none of these movies. <laughs> Leslie, you could take forever. <laughs> you know, it was more of a slogan for the movie, not actually a line from the movie. If that helps. So it's possible to come up with that without having seen the movie. Actually, I think I may have seen Forbidden Planet. A very old classic. I think I'm going to go with a gut feeling. Really? Maybe. <laughs> well, what is your gut feeling? Talk to us. Tell us all about it, Leslie. Okay. <laughs> oh, Forbidden Planet, uh, I believe, came out very early, maybe in the maybe in the sixties, maybe fifties. I think sixties. Alien, I know, was was Sigourney Weaver, a very popular film. A lot of people would have seen that so this might be a question that might be the answer um 2001 space odyssey and species oh boy oh the alien you gotta you gotta without taking any lifelines go for it Gutsy woman. Be alien. Final answer. Final answer. And a smart woman, too. She got it. $4,000. Oh. And saved yourself a couple of lifelines. See, I would have gone right for the lifelines. That's, that's terrific. Well, how'd you wind up with alien? I just, it was the most um, publicized, and I, I don't know, it just, yeah. uh, I probably have heard it and remembered it, so I don't know. Women's intuition, too, I'm Women's sure. Women's intuition. All right, right away from $1 million, we're going for the $8,000 question, and here it comes. In what country did the Klondike Gold Rush take place in the late 1890s? United States, Finland, Canada, South Africa. So what are you thinking now, Liz? Thinking of options. <laughs> there are four of them here. <laughs> yes, there are. And there are two lifelines. Oh, I see, yeah. I'd like to use 50-50. Computer, take away two of the wrong answers for Leslie, leaving her one wrong answer and the correct one.
gonna go with that. Final answer. Final answer. Well, uh, I'm sorry, Leslie. It's Canada. Canada. I'm very surprised. And you must be too. I am. Well, you leave with a thousand dollars. It's been a lot of fun having you here. I could have sworn that was in the United States, you know? Good luck. Yeah. Yeah, I got fooled. Klondike Gold Rush in the Yukon Territory in Northwest Canada 110 years ago. I wonder why she didn't know that. Anyway, I don't know who was more surprised, me or Leslie. I thought it was California, and I guess a little bit later than that. Sorry to see her go. But right now, we've got...